Dear students, in this unit, we will study about the diverse lineage in prokaryotes. As you are aware that prokaryotes are the simplest life form that originated on this planet some 4 billion years ago. Even in the beginning of their existence, two separate lineages, bacteria and archaea, they split from each other and with the course of evolution, they have uh, they got separated and they have evolved successfully in separate environments. Now, bacteria, they itself are very diverse and they have many different ranges that include disease-causing bacteria. The example you can find Salmonella typhi, which cause typhoid. They are one of the few bacteria which causes diseases. But there are many bacteria which are beneficial to the ecosystem. For example, we have photosynthesizers. Their purpose is to synthesize oxygen. They, they synthesize their own food and they help in the fixing of carbon dioxide and production of oxygen. Uh, just for your knowledge, you must be, you must be aware that uh, these photosynthesizers bacteria they do more photosynthesis than all the trees in this planet Earth. So they are very useful component of uh, this ecosystem. And there are certain bacteria which are called symbionts. These symbionts are actually the bacteria which uh, you can say that they help other organisms, they survive on them, and in return they also help them. So symbionts bacteria there are many types of bacteria which help in the recycling of important uh, components of the ecosystem. Now, when we talk about the archaea, archaea itself, they are very diverse group of organisms. They could live in extreme acidic condition. They live in extreme hot environment, even in extreme saltish conditions. For example, uh, Dead Sea, which is uh, present uh, in Jordan, Dead Sea contain 17% salt concentration, which is the highest in the world that any sea can have. Normal sea, they have 4 to 5% of the salt concentration. Even in the Dead Sea, no fish or no organism can survive, but archaea are surviving in that extreme salt condition as well. So, this is the diverse. Uh, ecosystem where these archaea are surviving. Now, these helps them in surviving those extreme environments. Now, with the help of latest advancements in the genomics field, uh, we have uh, revealed prokaryotic diversity. We have now come to know that there are wide variety of prokaryotes which inhabit in this planet Earth. Now, domain bacteria, it contains five major groups. It includes proteobacteria, chlamydia, spirochetes, cyanobacteria, and gram-positive bacteria. Now, these five groups, they have considerable genetic variation among them. And these, uh, there are certain factors which contribute to this genetic diversity Four of them, they are very prominent. That includes rapid reproduction, as we have studied, that bacteria have the ability to divide very fast. Some of the bacteria, even they can multiply in 20 minutes. And from one to three hours, most of the bacteria, they multiply. So this rapid reproduction has led to their genetic diversity. Then mutations. Bacteria, when they divide, their DNA divides, they don't have any repair mechanisms. So there are chances of more mutation as compared to eukaryotic cells, and this leads to genetic diversity among them. And then the genetic recombinations. Genetic recombinations, uh, when two different uh, bacteria, they unite, they uh, lead to a genetic recombination, which leads to the genetic uh, variations and thus help them in the diverse lineage. 